Islam's mercy to all mankind, and his prophethood. Reading the Quran and other Islamic sources, it becomes very clear that Islam took all pious figures of the Old Testament, starting with Adam and Eve, and turned them into Muslims. Who was the person today, known as Muhammad the Praised, one the one, who put Islam on the map? The last and yet sole prophet of Allah, who spoke for Allah and his Islam. Born to pagans on the Arabian Peninsula, he spent his first forty years, like any of his fellow contemporaries. He married his first wife, at the age of twenty-five, and he spent a lot of time, as a caravan guide or merchant. Then at the age of forty, in a cave during some pagan fasting, and prayer ritual, as was the custom of his people, he encountered one spiritual being. Islamic Source Sahih Bukhari, Volume 9, Book 87, Number 111, Narrated by Aisha. The angel came to him in it, and asked him to read. The Prophet replied, I do not know how to read. The Prophet added, The angel caught me forcefully, and pressed me so hard that I could not bear it any more. He then released me, and again asked me to read, and I replied, I do not know how to read, whereupon he caught me again, and pressed me a second time, till I could not bear it any more. He then released me, and asked me again to read, but again I replied, I do not know how, to read or what, shall I read? Sahih Bukhari continues, Volume 9, Book 87, Number 111, Narrated by Aisha. Thereupon he caught me for the third time, and pressed me, and then released me, and said read, In the name of your Lord, who has created all that exists, has created man from a clot. Read and your Lord is most generous. Up to that which he knew not, 96.15, end of quote. Thus was the beginning of Islam, Allah sent his angel Jibril to Katham, who later changed his name to Muhammad. Early biographer Ibn Ishaq reports, the Meccans had never known anything, like the trouble they had to endure, from this fellow. He had declared their mode of life foolish, insulted their forefathers, reviled their religion, divided the community, and cursed their gods. Ibn Ishaq 130-131 He replied, I was with them, one day when the notables, had gathered in the Hijr, and the apostle was mentioned. They said that they had never known anything, like the trouble they had endured from this fellow. He had declared their mode of life foolish, insulted their forefathers, reviled their religion, divided the community, and cursed their gods. What they had borne was past all bearing, or words to that effect. Ibn Ishaq 130-131 Notice the very early promise of I will bring you slaughter in the passage. Did he ever make good on his prophecy? Cursing their gods. He almost never stopped to curse the idols and gods of the pagans. Which of course is understandable, after all he wanted to call the people to his own god Allah. To bring his own version of monotheism. The years in Mecca were not very successful, at the most he got a few hundred followers. Many details of the saga are left out. One of his setbacks came when he uttered the words of Satan. For a long time, he thought of himself as the prophet of Allah to his own people. The Islamic sources do not tell much if the pagan idols were sending prophets. There was one religion, the which over a long history had received many prophets supposedly sent by their one God, the children of Israel, the so-called Jews. How to convince one pagan prophet that he was called in the line of the Jewish prophets? Sending him to Jerusalem, the holy city of the Jews. Ishak. Page 182 When we arrived at the temple in Jerusalem, we found Abraham Moses and Jesus along with a company of prophets. I acted as their imam in prayer. Years later, he would claim that the prophets are paternal brothers, and that their religion is the same. Narrated Abu Hurairah, Allah's apostle said, Both in this world, and in the hereafter, I am the nearest of all the people to Jesus, the son of Mary. The prophets are paternal brothers. Their mothers are different, but their religion is one. Book number 55, Hadith number 652. The visit to Jerusalem took place one year before Katham moved to Yathrib, which was renamed Medina. Islamic modern-day scholar Maududi wrote on Surah 17 one, 
The very first verse indicates that the Surah was revealed on the occasion of Miraj ascension. According to the traditions and books on the life of the Holy Prophet, this event happened one year before Hira. Thus, the Surah is one of those which were revealed in the last stage of Prophet at Mecca. End quote. The famous night journey to Jerusalem. Vision or reality? Not reality. No temple in Jerusalem. That real temple was one garbage heap and overgrown. When the Arabs conquered Jerusalem they found the Temple Mount abandoned and filled with refuse. Umar ordered it cleaned and performed a prayer there. The stone supposedly shows the extent and splendor of Solomon's Temple. It is of course not the second, which was destroyed by the Romans in AD 70. What remains of the Temple for the Jews became known as the Wailing Wall. Many pious Jews hope that their Temple will be rebuilt. That real temple ground was now on garbage heap and overgrown with shrubs. And yet Catham insists that he was there in the temple and only the ascension was a vision he saw. Well, where was he at that time? To repeat, there was no Jewish temple standing in Jerusalem in which prophets of the Old Testament could gather and meet with Arab prophet, the new kid on the block. And yet this pagan Arab was convinced that he was the last prophet Concluding the line of prophets, which came through the Jewish people. Prophet or Messiah, which is the final long-awaited figure, the hope for the religious Jews. The Islamic sources are not very clear on this term. Let's assume that indeed, they spoke of the Messiah as one prophet. Islamic writer Martin Lings, in his book, Muhammad His Life Based on the Earliest Sources. PDF page number 59. In moments of acrimony and frustration, the Jews had been known to say, The time of a prophet, who is to be sent is now at hand, with him, we shall slay you, even as Ad and Iram were slain. And their rabbis and soothsayers, when asked whence the prophet would come, had always pointed in the direction of the Yemen, which was also, for them, the direction of Mecca. So when the Athrab Arabs heard that a man in Mecca had now in fact declared himself to be a prophet, they opened their ears. And they were still more interested when they were told something about his message, for they were already familiar with many of the principles of orthodox religion and quote. Ishak, page 197 Allah, had prepared them for Islam, because they lived next to the Jews, who were people of scripture and knowledge. While the Khazra were polytheists and idolaters, they had gained the mastery over the Jews, raiding them. Whenever any dispute arose, the Jews would say, a prophet will be sent soon. His time is at hand. We shall follow him, and with him, as our leader we shall kill you. The same idea is being repeated by Ibn Ishaq, but with one important additional statement. On page 198, this is the very prophet whom the Jews warned us. Do not let them get to him before us. Thereupon they accepted his teaching, and became Muslims end of quote. Do not let them the Jews, get to him before us. Behind these words is the reason, for the rapid growth in Yathrib, the Pagans did not want, that the Jews could fight against them, and win, this may be the major reason, why they accepted him. For the Jews the Messiah, would also reform society, and it is hard to know, which political changes they expected, maybe the peace kingdom, on earth as many passages in the Torah indicate. One false messiah could mislead pagans, and the rest is history. There are many other passages in which Catham tells the Jews to look in their scripture, because he is foretold in them. Reading the Quran and other Islamic sources, it becomes very clear that Islam took all pious figures of the Old Testament, starting with Adam and Eve, and turned them into Muslims. Why not do the same with the messianic figure? and put one Islamic touch to it. Jesus is called the Christ, even in the Quran. But the term is not explained. What does it mean? Isa's Jesus is named in the Quran, was just like any other prophet, before him. How many prophets, or figures, did the Jews actually expect? One. Just a prophet, as was the case with Catham. Two prophet the forerunner, and the Messiah. Or three, Elijah, the Christ and Allah's last prophet. Catham's claim to be one prophet of the biblical God can rest only on the Old Testament. 
But if Jesus as Christianity maintains, fulfill this why with the same God, send another messianic figure. Comparison the job of the Jewish Messiah. Religious leader teaches about the one God. Prophet of Allah. King, his family will sit on the throne of David. Rule his flock with sole authority. Explain the laws given by Moses. Left Sharia, rules and regulations. Military commander fights to protect the land, but also acts offensively if needed. Fight in the cause of Allah, until the whole world, submits to Allah and Islam.